All right. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm with Teenage Engineering. I'm here with the OP1 synthesizer and the KO, the PO33 pocket operator. I'm going to write some drums to this thing. So the first thing I need to do is go into the drum sequencer of the OP1. And I'm going to go into the pattern function or the pattern sequencer and the OP1, and I'm going to clear it, clear it out. And now I'm going to take each one of these sounds from a patch called Apple Fly, which is a really, really cool patch that is made with one of the sound engines within the OP1 synth. And I'm going to record a sound at each step. That's 16 steps right there. And if I press play, it's going to play all of those instrument sounds. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to take the sounds that are here and I'm going to put them in here. The drum sample banks of the pocket operator slice each one of these individual dots into each one of these individual numbers in the pocket operator. So in other words, this kick drum should be placed at number one if I do this correctly. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to press record and then I'm going to press 13. I'm going to record in 13 and it's going to wait and listen and then I'm going to turn it on. Now there should be a sound in each one of these. You might have to adjust, you might have to adjust where the sample starts and stops. And you're gonna use the left and right knobs to, to control the sound sample. That one seems pretty good. That one's also seems this great. That one's great. That one's great. This one could be a lot better. That one's great. Awesome. And I think these last three were just like the sound itself that was playing out of the sequencer. So we can try this again. Maybe I can actually make this work a little bit better by limiting the sound and re-recording it. So again, I'm going to press and hold record and record it to bank number 13. Let's see what happens. Yep. So now if I wanted to, I can write music with this. I could say, I'm just gonna make beat. Let's see, press play and So if I wanted to copy this sound, I should be able to press write and sound, and it's going to copy to 14. So now I've got 13 has all these sounds, and 14 has all these sounds. Again, the way that you do that is when you're on a specific drum bank, or even if you're on a synth bank, if you press and hold write and sound, and then you assign where you'd like the sound to go, it'll copy it. So now if I wanted to, this is all coming from 13, but if I select 14, I can actually write the same drum kit over the top of it. In this way, 
you could actually have a lot of options with your drums where you could say, oh, I want to have, you know, eight 808 drum kits doing something, and you can destroy the sound of one, but keep the other one intact so that it, over the entire pocket operator, creates a nice palette of sound.